What's up, y'all? My name is Will McMillan, and this is Voices. It's, it's, it's a dream come true. I've been wanting to do my own record um, for um, since I was 18 years old, and um, the fact that it's happening now is a dream come true. <laughs> um, well, I, I played on, um, in, I was MD on Travis Green's last record, uh, Crossover. Um, Pastor Will McDowell, his last record, um, Sounds of Revival 1 and 2. Um, Tasha Cobbs, I traveled with her for four years. I played on One Place, and then Jonathan Nelson. Um, I traveled with him for 11 years and played on his last four and wrote some songs with him as well. So, yeah, sure. I was born and raised in the church. Um, okay. Basically, you know, I might as well say I was born on the first pew. Like, that's how much I was in church. Um, and my family is a musical family on both sides. We either play, sing, or preach. You had to do either, you know, one of those things. And um, I've been playing, or well, I started playing when I was 10, so that's 19 years ago. And, um, and, I found out that I was, uh, I guess, like recording and composing was a passion of mine. I was in, um, I was in, I would say, ninth grade. We had a piano, we had a um, keyboard class, and they had the keyboards. They had like a little recording um, section on it where you can record five tracks. So I would like compose like whole songs, like you know, when I was really supposed to be doing my work. But you know, that's the, that's another story, for another day. But um, I just that was just a passion of mine, and you know, here we are now. So, uh, I would say I enjoy most of it as all of it as a whole. The my least favorite is actually sitting down and writing the lyrics, not because I don't. I, I mean, I love I love I love songwriting, but it's because it's something that you have to you know you have to uh, what's the word? You have to make sure whatever you're saying makes sense, you know, um, and put it together. So. Cause that's what people are going to hear. People remember lyrics, you know, and that's the most meaningful part of it. Um, so that's a, and I really, you know, I really treasure that. But um, everything else, I just, I just like doing it. I'm a music, I'm a music person. I just love it all. So honestly, I didn't even think of it as that. I just heard the song randomly. Um, I was pumping gas one day, and it, and it came on, and I really felt. I'm like, yo, this is a true statement. Jesus is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And um, this is, mind you, this was six years ago. And I did a concert, um, I performed it live, and it went hard, and you know, six years later, I just, I'm like, yo, I just wanna sing this song everywhere. It didn't start, I didn't start to realize how, you know, how bold doing something like that was until people started saying it, like, yo, that, you know this is a classic, and I just, I don't know, so now it's like, wow, when you think of it, it's like, oh yeah, this is a classic, but I just wanted to sing it, you know? Yeah, well, I, um, like as I, we stated before, I travel with you know the artists that I name. Um, it was over a, an eleven year span, um, and um, I'll say like four years ago, um, it was just I would say that's when I you know felt that it was time to actually you know resign and um, really pursue and figure out you know what this next phase you know looked like. Like the deal wasn't even a thing in place then. Um, I just knew that you know because you can. You can, you know, extend yourself on so many other things to where, you know, what's inside of you like takes a back seat. So I just made a decision to just um, you know, move forward and and really, really focus in on what this was supposed to be and you know, here we are now. So each phase of my life there's like a pattern, it's like I start to feel something and I start to say things out of my mouth, um, and then they end up happening. Um so it was like one there's like another, you know, pivotal time um in my life where it was happening and um you know here we are so i would definitely say that my my um my approach to this whole artist thing and my sound is you you get realness and transparency like each song that you hear even from the record is um a prayer or a conversation with god um and i just want to be relatable and i want to be effective by being real um and that's the um and then you know writing to where people can actually sing you know sing back you know what you're what you're saying um it's nothing like when you're performing and people are singing the, your song word for word you know because it's actually easy to catch on to and all that but i just want to be real and relatable yeah and it's weird because my pro my process for myself self is way different than you know what i was doing for other people and that's what makes this record so special because it's it's my heart and it comes it literally comes from you know um, within me, but 
Um, I would say um, it just depends. Like um, one song on the record, it came like a melody will always. You know, it came from a dream. But okay, I'll start. I'll start here. It always starts with a melody, like a mel- like whatever the thing that people are going to sing the most. Um, it starts there, and then um, you know it goes from there. Then I put music to it, and then the theme might come, and then you know. But we just got to make sure it is all cohesive. You know, that's the, that's the big thing. Just making it cohesive is um, the most important part. You know, there's a song called Lost and Found, um, and it's actually the la- so it's it's really two songs in one. Um, but um, I was playing around with the with the with the first part of the song, um, and then because I you know I was playing on the piano, and then um, like like randomly like the melody the melody um, came to me. Um, I'm trying to explain it. It's like da 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 right. So and then I put I put some words to it and it said it's been too long. Welcome home. I thought that I could go alone and take my share and just move on. A misleading option, pride it go, I was wrong. And I can't defend my side no more. I chose to run. Now I choose to come back home to find you in your fullness. Help me find my way back to you. Not to where I've been, but even further. To be lost and found is my desire. Um, the song is based off of the story in the Bible, um, the prodigal son. You know, when uh, the son he wanted to take his share of his, you know, his share of his riches and go and be prodigal um, and do his own thing. But then um, he came to a point where, you know, whatever he was looking for outside, you know, it wasn't enough. So he decided to come back home and then his family um, welcomed him with open arms and had a party for him. So um, the, the, uh, the chorus is basically, you know, his heart says, help me find you in your fullness. Help me find my way back to you, um, not to where I've been, but even further to be lost and found is my desire. So in the end. Um, the part two of it is, um, it just goes on to say, and this is him asking the question, question is this party for me? Um, and then um, he says, is this party for me, the cloud of witnesses with my father, t- they're telling me welcome home. So his father's telling him welcome home. And then I actually have a choir in it and they're just saying, um, it's been too long, welcome home. You know, that's the, that's the whole concept behind it. So it's a really cool song when you get a chance, you know, definitely check it out. And I feel like I was I was there. Like I wanted to do my own thing. Um but I turned right I it's like you can run a, a million miles away from God and um just turn back around and one step he'll be right there with open open arms welcoming uh you back home and I feel like that's a big part of like, you know, my testimony and who I am. So yeah, I would say um and um I would say because anybody because I consider myself, you know, a true, um, like a true music director, a true professional in in that aspect, to where whoever I'm working for, they give me their vision, and I just like try to execute it as best as I could, could under the umbrella of what they, you know, what they bring. Um, but as far as like my ministry um, and my sound, I would say it's um, authentically, you know, you know, it comes from my heart, um, and is 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 like a thousand times different than anybody I've ever worked with before. Um, I do have some influences. Um, a guy by the name of PJ Morton, I've been a fan of him since I was, really since I started writing music. Like he was um, super influential in even starting this. Um, um, James Taylor, Bruce Hornsby, um, need, a group called Need to Breathe, Owl City, and like I'm, and I'm a big Disney music fan too. Um, like old, not this new Disney music, I mean, no disrespect, but just I'm more so like the old Disney, um, I'm a big fan of that. So all of those things put together in some old school, you got El DeBage, you got Earth, Wind & Fire, Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles, um, um, James Brown, you know, those people, all that meshed together in, you know, what I, you know, bring, so. Yeah, for sure, well, I, f- I feel like beyond anything, this generation responds to, you know, realness you know 
Um, and I feel like if you just if you continue to be real um, and continue to even keep your ears open to what they have to say and um, being transparent, because you know the in people we have come up under um, the generation before us, and there's no it's not a I mean it's not a bad thing. It's just you know it's kind of what they were taught. It was more so. We all we all, all always thought that they were like just so perfect and they painted a picture like you know they never did any wrong and things like that. But if you if you're transparent and you um, you continue to kind of just um, I don't know just show that um, show that you know that rawness and that realness. Um, I feel like they will respond to that musically. Um, same thing. Um, like best thing is a Jesus is the best thing is a James Cleveland classic from back in the day, but. Uh, people have been posting um, videos of kids, you know, running and dancing to it. So um, you don't have to try to, you know, compromise or change, you know, what's inside of you to appeal to a generation. I just feel that you just need to just be you and, um, you know, they will, you know, flock to that. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited um, because I feel that, um, you know, even with, um, you know, I'm with um, E1 Entertainment, and um, shout out to Gina Miller, she's amazing. Um, but I feel that there's starting to become a more, um, people are starting to become more open to different sounds, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of that because I feel like my, my sound isn't necessarily traditional. Um, but as we continue to just kind of, um, just kind of break the mold of what you know gospel music is supposed to sound like and explore you know more sounds and these a lot of super super dope artists coming out um, now um, I feel like the more we explore that the more we will be able to you know expand and um, you know just not be in a box and I feel like that's where it's headed well um, it's eight songs of just um, my heart um, my experiences I've gone through, prayers I've prayed, um, all of the songs on there are conversational, just um, just me, and, between me and the Lord, just kind of expressing. Um, there's this one song called You'll Never Leave Me, um, and it's basically just ex expressing um, gratitude and um, to God, you know, for His grace and Him, you know, anytime we find ourselves falling, He's right there to catch us and He'll never let us fall to the ground. Then He even said, He'll never leave us nor forsake us, and um, that's something that I've experienced. Um, you got um, see you. That's when people see me, let them see you through me. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, when people see me, I want them to see Christ. Um, lost and found, which is personally my favorite, um, just because of the feel of it, and then um, definitely the message behind that. Um, really, all of them, like all of all of the songs on there, are just transparent. And what I want people, the, the title of the record is um, entitled My Story. And basically, I just want people to be um, bold in sharing your story and, and um, not shying away from it because you never know what the next person um, is dealing with. Um, the Bible even says we're overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So um, the way someone else over will be able to overcome is if you are bold in sharing your testimony because you're on the other side of it so you can bring them to where you are. Yo, so um, uh, I want to say this. A lot of us um, hear um, over time that we are to wait on God, um, wait on God, wait on God, and watch Him work, um, which is a true statement. But while God, while you're waiting on God, um, God is actually waiting on you as well to take a, a step of faith um, and to watch Him working in your life. Um, you know, faith without works is dead, so He's waiting on you. Um, this is Will McMillan. Um, my album is entitled My Story. You can follow me on uh, all my social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. It's Will McMillan, I-I-I. And that's it.